Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do uh, an oracle reading for you. Um, I'm doing this the late night. It's what two in the morning, two a.m. Um, let's get into it. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's uh, go ahead and start with our prayer. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Aquarius, seven is going to come gushing into your life like a waterfall. It's going to bring you such clarity, peace, and newness. And for some of you, that it, the thing that's coming into your life is new love. Yep. Yeah? To all of the people out there who say, am I going to get new love? Here it is. If it resonates for you, it resonates. If it doesn't, I hope it resonates for everybody, especially those of you who are coming out of turbulent situations. Off camera, when I was meditating and shuffling the cards, um, I got for you. Some of you are beating yourself up in terms of relationships and love relationships because you, you feel like you keep meeting the same person. Well, you keep, you feel like every relationship ends the same way. But the spirit wanted me to tell you that, well, you keep meeting the same person. You know, essentially, it's a different person, but it's the same attitude, same disposition, same personality. Therefore, it's going to end the same. It's like you've been in some cycle, some tough cycle that came into your life to show you something, to illuminate something about you, to for you to examine something about you so that you can learn, move forward and actually have this new love um, grow into this new love also. Um, so don't beat yourself up about maybe situations, situationships, relationships ending the same way because you are meeting the same type of person over and over again. Also, what I was getting off camera for some of you triggers. OK, some people trigger you. Some things trigger you. Events, situations. I don't know, but you don't deal with triggers. You don't tolerate triggers. You eliminate triggers. You don't. We do not negotiate with terrorists over here. If you are terrorizing my Aquarius, you got to go. So if somebody is triggering you, if some situation triggers you, it is not for you to deal with it, cope with it, to skirt around it. But it's for you to eliminate it in whatever way you need to eliminate it. Okay, so let's get into the reading Aquarius. It's a really good one, positive one. We'll start with new love here of you new love new lease on life you understand you have learned the lesson you're ready to re-engage because you're you're going to go into situations renewed and new okay um you may meet this new love by hanging out having fun times concert going out with friends family where you are actually engaging in something that is fun you're going to meet somebody okay um, this new person could come in real hot and heavy for you. Very passionate. It might turn some of you off or it, it might, you know, raise some red flags for you, but you can set the tone and set the pace of a relationship. Let the person know where you are in terms of taking things to the next level. And if you're with it, you're with it. Okay. This person, not only are they very passionate about you in, um, or they're going to be very passionate about you, or maybe you've already met your new person, Aquarius. Um, if I can get the cards off the table, thank you. Um, this person is going to come into you, um, wanting to date you, court you exclusively. You have a courting man. This is somebody who has a, made a name for themselves, who gets around, who has a, you know, um, not gets around, but has made a name for themselves, um, is a, is in around about the town, uh, could be a business owner. This person wants to date you exclusively. Now, initially, it may not just be you and him. This person may have other people. Keep in mind, over a certain age, none of us are really single. Think about it. You may say, yes, I'm single, but you've got like three and four people in your phone that just waiting for the opportunity for you to give them the opportunity to take you out, to see you, to whatever. So you're not really single. Nobody has no one. And some of us do. And, and, and that's a good thing too, especially if you're looking for new relationships, but don't always think that because you've met some one particular person that their entire focus, their entire life is on you now. You know, they, they had a life before they met you. So uh, when you meet people, it is, um, 
for you to put your best foot forward and hopefully you come out on top. All right. Figuratively and literally. Anyhow, you definitely will have somebody who wants to date you. Um, who wants to put the time, the energy, the effort into the connection. They don't just want to have sex with you and leave and um, play games. This is somebody who is dating for a reason, you know, to see it through to the next level, whatever the next level may be. Um, Aquarius. And then after all of the good stuff, here is the bullshit. Okay. Aquarius. Um, we'll, we'll start. We'll keep going with the good stuff. A new pathway is opening to you. Some of you could be 35 years old. If you're not 35, you're definitely coming out of some cycle because the three and the five goes to eight. Eights are about cycles, um, cyclical things. So maybe you've been in this hamster wheel of meeting the same people, doing the same things, same meetings, same endings. So now you're coming out of that. You're going into a new pathway, a new enlightenment. Some of you have learned something. You could be seeing a lot of butterflies, okay? It's time for your transformation, your, um, yeah, your transformation, okay? Um, for you to come out of the cocoon and actually fly, be free. Um, maybe fly away from past situations that had you stuck, feeling like you were wa walking in a circle with somebody, feeling like you were getting nowhere in a specific connection here. Um, as we talk about that specific connection, um, there may be somebody here from the past who you're still in their thought space. You're still on their mind. Um, yeah, you're still on their mind because uh, you treated this person good, you know. Um, you let this person come into your, your family, your family life, into your home, into your heart space. Uh, you thought that you were creating something with this person, something long lasting. Um, you may have broken the relationship off or they broke it off. What was mutual? I don't know. But um, now you, you're this, that you're, well, this person is at a space of continuously thinking of you and trying to penetrate your energy field, trying to disrupt you. Um, maybe even doing magic or, or there's a lot of mystery surrounding you right now. Because they don't know what you're doing and how you're doing it and if you have met someone else. For some of you in family situations, maybe even to go as far as to say child support, alimony or something like that, you're going to need adjudication. You're going to need a third party to um, help you uh, figure this all out, to help you get something straight um, in terms of your family and maybe even family money. Um, inheritance or a family home or something of that nature. You're going to need a third party to help you and another person figure out a uh, payment, repayment, um, installment. I don't know. You, you're going to need some someone there to um, help you figure this out. Also, some of you, you could have been dealing with somebody who was already married, had a family. And they brought you into this as a third party, okay? Yeah, you could have been dealing with them like two years, three years. As this person continues, continuously thinks about you, this spirit wants you to know that, look, this person is a liar. They're saying, so what, I lied, I'm a narcissist. They could be a narcissist. They could just be, um, you know, out for themselves, lacking apathy and empathy. They just don't know how to displace themselves and put them put them yeah themselves in other people's shoes and emotions and you know that's really the clinical definition of narcissism or narcissist so this person just doesn't they don't possess that that ability you know a narcissist is always working off of survival mode like how can they survive how can they be the last man or the last woman standing so this person is a liar okay they could be saying to you or you could be saying to them that, look, you're so immature. You, you both may feel this way about each other, maybe about the ending. Maybe it didn't end in the best way. Maybe there were some tough or harsh words said or maybe somebody just blew up. Who knows? There's also an energy of somebody feeling like, look, 
I give you money so it should be enough. Maybe this person was only willing to give you money. Or maybe this is why um there's also somebody here. I think I feel like this is for my masculine uh Aquarius. Um you could have a ex wife, baby's mom or whatnot. She may be trying to insert herself into your life, into your relationships. And you you're saying to her, Look, I give you money, that should be enough. We've gone to court, we've gotten this figured out. Please, you know, just let it be at the money situation and that's it. Um Aquarius, uh also the cards want you to know that um you, your person that you left or you, you are leaving behind or that is over with, um, they want you to know that um, when they, this person, when they would ignore you, uh, they were with someone else or trying to find a new victim. You know, this this is their life. This is what they have to offer, okay? They've done this to several other people. This is what they do. It's perpetual with them. Um you Aquarius may feel like I just don't care you just don't care anymore and this person probably never really cared okay so you don't care anymore and they never really care um your person is saying look they want you to take responsibility for the toxicity in this connection and you know to be you know fair a toxic relationship can't be you know, toxic with just one person. It has to be with two parties. And this, you know, it's going to be for two different reasons. But your person is saying the toxic part is you keep letting me back in. So you keep letting this person come back. Again, back to those cycles that you and this person kept going through. It looks like you're trying to break them. You're trying to move on to something new. Um, and, and your person can feel that. And that's why they're trying to penetrate your energy field by thinking of you intensely and just uh, maybe even doing some magic but definitely maybe even spying on you um, driving by your house being deceptive in nature and trying to act like they don't care but they really do care um, and, and this is how they care They and this is why they care they're saying please don't leave me you're the only person who puts up with me yeah Aquarius you may have you may have put this person on a pedestal. If you didn't put them on a pedestal, you tried to bring out something in this person that this person didn't even know was in them. Maybe the good in them. Or you tried to get them to see the world, life, relationships in a different manner. Um, nobody ever took the time to actually sit with this person, maybe even talk to this person, maybe even try to understand them. So, um, this person feels like they just don't want you to go because nobody else is going to do this with them. Aquarius, your new person could be a twin flame. You know, I don't get into all of that, but you know, if it helps you, it helps you. Your, your new person could be a twin flame. This past person could have been a twin flame, but if it's a bad situation, don't stay in it. Okay. Um, this person feels like um, loving you is like an addiction, okay? Um, you don't really want to be addicted to anything, right? Because the, the negative side of addiction is, um, is is not being able to be without it, is not being able to cope, um, is having to detox. So um, I don't think you want anybody to be addicted to loving you and you shouldn't be addicted to loving anyone else. This person, maybe this person from the past is very codependent, okay? Um, and, and lastly, they want you to know that um, uh, I wake up with you on my mind. Yeah, and we saw that with the thoughts card. This person is continuously thinking of you only because you're gone, okay? Um, this new person could be saying, look, you are just right for me. All right. Yeah. You're just right for me. And, um, they like being around you. They like being with you. Um, they're so happy that they found you. Okay. Um, because you provide, um, something that's been missing in their life. So what we're going to do in the extended reading is, um, try to pick up on some qualities. Whoa. Some qualities about this new person, uh, to see, um, what kind of person it'll be. Maybe we'll get some signs. 
some zodiac signs um, will get uh, more information about what they're looking for in terms of uh, a relationship uh, maybe even we make could try to pick up and see what kind of work they do what do they do to earn income okay so um, if you want to know about this new person and get out of this past energy then go ahead and get the extended reading um, Aquarius this is a really good reading I'm so proud of you I'm so proud of some of you for making the leap taking that leap of faith into something new uh, all links are below get the extended reading ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below you can also uh, donate to the channel if you took something from the reading you could uh, give back you could buy me a coffee if you're feeling moved to do so the link is below thank you Aquarius many blessings to you